Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today I have a big treat, well, for myself and hopefully for you too. I've got Titan Forge's new loyalty model, their Samurai Kyodai, which would be brothers basically. And so we have this nice, well, helps when he's in focus there. Nice elderly looking gentleman who I still can't get really in focus. That's not good. And you'll notice he's supposed to be lugging something. And obviously, if you can't see the details, do not fret. I am going to prime these after they're built so you can see. His back is flat because he is carrying a big honking bow. That's bigger than him. And he's got a nice flag as well. A family crest up there at the top. But that's probably, if you are familiar with this new release that Titan Forge just put out, that's not the real star of the show. The real star of the show is what's going to sit on this base. So this is just a regular 30 millimeter base with our stalwart carry all there. This base, on the other hand, is nice and as elaborate as it turned out. I actually got to say it, I printed it decently is what this guy is going to be sitting on now this dude i know he is a bit glossy up there on top his face is kind of hard to discern at the moment you can't really see the patterns very clearly on his crest there but this guy is just absolutely massive and you can see there is a lot of detail packed in there and thankfully i didn't even break the ribbons You'll notice that one of his swords is missing. That's because he's supposed to be holding it like so. I like how the connection spot is. There's just a notch here. There's no, you know, things I need to insert. It just kind of sits on top, neat and nice, like so. Can I get him to stand on his base? I don't want to knock him over and have him break those ribbons. I will be very sad. Yeah, well, okay. And then his other hand, he is gripping a bundle of prayer beads. And he's got like these little tassel-y talisman things hanging off of him everywhere. So yeah, he's going to be big. Grabbing our Inquisitor friend. Where'd you go? Yeah. I'm not sure what this guy is actually supposed to be. Is he undead? Is he like some kind of karakuri machine? I really don't know. Is he a big giant golem? He's got a bunch of heads hanging off of his armor here. Uh, I really don't know what he's supposed to be, but then again that's half the fun. You can come up with your own explanation as to just what in the world this is. So I am going to get him all glued together. Probably won't glue him on the base yet. And we are going to spray him with what little primer we have left which really admittedly isn't much and hopefully take a better look at him so what do you say let's do it all right we got our Onichan all finished up here i'm assuming he's the older brother he looks older he's got the walking stick i don't have him glued down yet so apologies i'm still not 100 percent sure where his flag is supposed to go the banner, it looks like it's supposed to go on his back somewhere. I'm going to wait and glue it anyways. I haven't even glued on the bow and arrow yet, but get a good look at him there. But the real star is when he does the ototo, his ototo, which would be the snack foods, but whatever. Anyways. He is a big sucker. I mean, really big. And the detail is just really, really nice. Now you can actually see all the waves in his crest there. Just a very impressive model. And I still don't know, is he human? Is he a machine? Is somebody piloting it? I have just no idea. But I guess that's half the fun. Obviously, I would love to figure out how to use him in Shadows of Brimstone or one of our other games. And like I said, he's got like these little paper talismans sticking out of his armor all over the place. So that's going to be a fun challenge. He does have a skull-like face there. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to paint that like a skull, do it all gold. 
I really don't know. There's balance there. So yeah, he's he's a big model. Uh, I don't think he's as big as the big three-headed dragon the Titan Forge did, but he is still certainly impressive, and he's going to be one that I am really looking forward to painting. I gotta say. So hopefully we'll see him back here soon. And honestly, I really, really dig this one. Um, I'm sure I'll probably hang around for Titan Forge's Patreon just due to the fact that it's one of I think the best bangs for your buck in terms of models and getting nice big freebies like this every few months makes it an even sweeter deal so hopefully we will continue to see more uh even maybe we'll see some stats for this for their blood fields game who knows but definitely keep your eyes peeled because i know i'm not the only one who wants something like this with that said this has been high lord tamerlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching We'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.